GS Park and Associates. Um, we're honored to be here today to help partner and serve the community that's had some challenges. Um, it's been a tough time for a lot of people, and we're just glad to partner with the, the Bowlings, the Millers, Councilman Hawkins, and the other sponsors and partners, Comcast, Cupco, to come out and be uh, a blessing to a lot of people today. So just glad to be a part of it. How do you feel with this pandemic and the pace that it's going now? How do you feel that the county is doing in terms of answering the call? I think the county is doing a great job. Obviously, Prince George's County is kind of the epicenter for the state of Maryland. But I think the leadership um, has been phenomenal. And I think what you witnessed today, the community coming together to help partner and serve the community, host a child of what we can be. You strike an interesting balance between understanding the bit, the business, the community, but at the, at the same time understanding the health issues and concerns. How do you feel about the opening up that is occurring across the country and where we are with regard to that? How do you balance it? I think the leadership has done a great job in protecting people. I think you have to protect people, and I think you have to get the economy going. I think it's a balancing act, but I think our leadership has done a phenomenal job in, in balancing those two things. I absolutely understand that you want to get the economy back, but not at the risk of lives. So it is a balancing act, and I think they've done a really good job with it. So um, I think we're in a good place right now, you know, given the certain circumstances that we're in. But what you saw today was, was really, to me, was the epitome of what we can be. When you saw the business community, religious community, elected officials come together to serve people that who, who've had some tough times because of the pandemic. You know, so. yep. Absolutely. Gia's Procter & Associates cel celebrating 25 years now yep. this year and involved in the community both in the, as a business entity and as a good community business neighbor. You've always given, you've always supported. How does this particular moment strike you and, and your company as part of your legacy now? Oh, this is what we do. Um, without the community, there is no GS Procter & Associates. It's that simple. So the two are inseparable. The, the two are so intertwined, one feeds off of the other. So um, doing this today is exactly what we do. Uh, the community helped create us. We've been very blessed by the community. The fact that we can turn around and donate some money for fresh produce and vegetables and, and some fresh meat for these folks makes all the sense in the world. It's, it's a no-brainer, as they say. That, uh, tell us a real last question. The next 25 years for GS Procter & Associates, what, do we, what can we expect? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think what you see from us is exactly what you're going to get. Partner trying to you know continue to engage the community the religious community the business community and as you saw today the community at large uh, that's our secret sauce working with people getting the best out of people which you saw today we'll continue to do that um, it may not be me at the lead at 25 years but certainly with Trey and the family um, that's what we want to continue to do outstanding all right thank you so thank much you. thank you for what you do not at all not at all serving that's great thank you so much no thank you